An Australian man who has been tested for a deadly new strain of coronavirus has been released from home isolation in Brisbane, but is still being tested for any sign of the illness. It comes amid fresh concerns of a global epidemic, with Chinese authorities confirming the illness, known as coronavirus, can be spread from human contact. The new strain was first reported in the city of Wuhan, one of China's biggest cities. It's since spread to other Chinese cities and overseas, with confirmed cases in Japan, Thailand and South Korea. Four people have died from the illness, with more than 200 people infected, but some experts estimate the actual number to be more than eight times that. The risk in Australia remains low, but authorities say there's no vaccine for the new virus. China correspondent Bill Bertels reports. An outbreak in China that authorities fear may have reached Australian shores. We've got one um, gentleman that we're just following at the moment. Health authorities say he'd recently returned from Wuhan in China, where the outbreak began. For three weeks, authorities have known about the new mystery virus and have played down the idea that it can be transferred between people. But now the news many feared, with confirmation it can be spread with human contact, prompting Australian officials to ramp up screening at airports. We are putting in place some additional proportionate border measures. In particular, these measures relate to the three direct flights a week from Wuhan to Sydney. The Matildas are due to play an Olympic qualifier in the Chinese city where the outbreak started. There are currently no plans to move the game. Those things are out of our control in, in many respects because um, you know, a decision will, will be made based on the, on the safety of the playing group. I'm sure our doctor's all over it and you know, he'll protect us and make sure that we're, we're knowledgeable and not putting ourselves in any kind of risky situation. Multiple cases are now being confirmed across China, including in the capital, Beijing. Some travellers at the main station for trains heading to the outbreak zone in central China say they're worried. I think it's best everyone wear a mask, so we don't worsen the situation. Others have faith it can be contained. I definitely am worried, but I'm not panicking or scared. I believe our medical system can prevent and cure this disease. Scientists are now scrambling to better understand the new strain. So we need to understand how it's transmitting from human to human uh, and also what the incidence of that is, so um, how many new cases are occurring. Across China, at airports and train stations like this one, authorities are scrambling to screen passengers arriving from Wuhan. But with multiple cases now confirmed in other cities and abroad, this is no longer a localised epidemic. The World Health Organization has announced plans to hold an emergency meeting to discuss strategies to contain the virus. With millions of Chinese now on the move, there's an added urgency. China correspondent Bill Bertels joins us now from Beijing. Bill, how do people feel about the government's response to this? Well, Lara, we're hearing mixed things. When we ask people on camera, uh, most of them say we believe the government is capable of handling this situation and can contain the outbreak. But you need to always take anything that a, a foreigner with a camera asks people on the street in China about with a big grain of salt because I'm also hearing uh, other people who are planning on cancelling their Lunar New Year travel to central China. And a hospital source uh, from a nearby city, not Wuhan, but one nearby, uh, believes that the situation is a bit worse than what authorities have been making it out to be. That said though, most people we have spoken to here in Beijing, they say compared to 17 years ago when there was the SARS outbreak, when hundreds of people here died, when authorities were criticised for not giving adequate information, many people here say they think things have improved and this time they mostly believe authorities. Do you get the sense that China has the capacity to contain the spread? Well, if any country has the capacity, uh, China is usually pretty good when it comes to infrastructure or building things quickly or uh, earthquake relief or, or whatever, you, whatever you talk about. China generally is a pretty efficient uh, uh, political structure in which to have an emergency response. 
The big downside, of course, when you're talking about an infectious disease is China is tensely, densely populated. And in Wuhan alone, you have eight to 10 million people. We saw statistics this afternoon suggesting that three to four million residents of Wuhan will plan to travel over the next two weeks for the Lunar New Year. So this gives you an idea of what health authorities in this country are up against. Uh, one measure we did hear in the past few hours, Lara, is that the Chinese government will ban travel groups uh, you know, tours and so forth from the city of Wuhan uh, over the next couple of weeks. But even that restriction uh, won't stop individual travellers getting on trains and planes and going all across the, uh, the country and also to other countries like Australia for holidays. Bill, how do you, uh, how does this virus compare to other outbreaks in the past, whether it be speed or the actual nature of the strain of the illness? So the big comparison here in China is to SARS, which came about in 2002, 2003. Around about uh, 9,000 people were infected with that illness. It was very similar. Health experts have said that this particular coronavirus is different from SARS, but there are similarities. And it had a fatality rate nearing 9 or 10 percent. You did have about 770 people in southern China die from SARS. Back then, health authorities, for whatever reason, were accused of covering up the severity of the situation. This is why, uh, regardless of what people tell us on camera about uh, how much they believe or not believe uh, the government response, this is why there genuinely is quite a lot of cynicism in China uh, towards uh, the official reports. Um, but so far, it seems, with only four deaths, that this probably is not in the same league as SARS. Bill Bertels there reporting from China. Thank you.